Hello and welcome to Helpful Hints from Pat M. Down. I'm Sally Port and here's the man with a plan, Pat M. Down. Thanks, Sally. It's great to be back. So, Pat, I understand we're here for today's helpful hint. That's right, Sally. Every day you hear stories in this business. And some of these stories have to be shared to help the next guy or girl out. That's great, Pat. What do you have for us today? You got it, Sally. Okay, let's say a CO has always dreamed of becoming a sergeant. Let's call this random CO Chris. Okay, let's call him Chris. Okay, okay. So let's say Chris worked very hard to advance his career. He became a weapons instructor and finally after years of trying, he passed the sergeant's test. Chris sounds like a devoted employee. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Well, Chris made sergeant and left his home facility to make his bones in a new prison. It's so nice to hear that in corrections, someone can advance and achieve goals they set for themselves. Yeah, that's great. So, Chris really likes his new jail and seems to be doing well as a probationary sergeant. One day he was feeling particularly good about himself and decided to treat himself to something special. Well, good for Chris. Yeah, unfortunately things didn't go too well for Chris. Oh no. What happened? Well, Chris needed to go to a seedy place to purchase his treat. Let's just call this place Newburg. Newburg. Yeah, sure, Newburg. I'm just saying. So Chris attempted to purchase his treat and... And what? He got picked up in a prostitution sting. You have to be friggin' kidding me. Well, Chris identified himself as a corrections sergeant hoping for some pity. What a small pitiful little troll. He's more like a hobbit. But that's besides the point. The state trooper asked Chris which facility he worked at so he could call to verify. Ooh, that must have sucked. Yes, but that's where Chris actually used his head. Okay, how did he do that? You see. If Chris used the name of his new facility, his career as a sergeant might be ruined. Especially since he was still on probation. Yeah, so? So Chris thought of another option. He could call his original home jail and hope that a friend would answer the call and that would be the end of that. That actually sounds like a good plan. Only if a friend answered. So, he didn't have too many friends? You have to understand. C.O.s are a funny breed. This type of bird could spread like wildfire. And no, he didn't have too many friends. Sounds to me like he was pretty much screwed. Yeah ha ha ha, pretty funny huh? So what did he do? Well, he told him he still worked at his old jail. And? And whoever answered the phone said the right things and Chris was released as a professional courtesy. And that's it? Everything worked out? Well, words spread like wildfire and there were poems, song parodies and even a video made about the alleged incident. But Pat, this segment is called Helpful Hints. Where is the helpful hint in all of this? That's easy, Sally. There are no secrets in jail. I guess that makes sense. And don't get caught up in a prostitution sting. The guy's a troll. Hobbit.